Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Dinesh Jangir from India and in this problem we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, D and here A, B is equal to A, D and the area of this quadrilateral is equal to 24. We have to find the length A, E. So here if we see properly angle B, A, D and angle B, C, D both of them are equal to 90 degrees and this AE is perpendicular to side BC and since the sum of two opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees that means this is a cyclic quadrilateral that means you can draw a circle which will pass through all the four points A, B, C and D and that circle will look something like this and since angle BAD and angle BCD these two are 90 degrees that means the line joining point P and point D will be the diameter of the circle and its midpoint will be the center of the circle. So here BAD is a right angle triangle and it is also an isosceles triangle because AB is equal to AD that means this angle will be equal to this angle and both of them will be equal to 45 degrees and if I draw a line from point C to point A this angle this angle will also be equal to 45 degrees why because angle ADB and angle ACB both of them are subtended by the same arc AB so both these angles will be equal and if this angle is equal to 45 degrees that means this angle will also be equal to 45 degrees because triangle AEC is a right angle triangle and if this is 90, this is 45, the remaining angle has to be equal to 45 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle and it is also an isosceles triangle where side AE is equal to side EC. So these are our findings and now let us try to find the length AE. So area of this quadrilateral can be found by adding the areas of this triangle which is half AB multiplied by AD and since both of them are equal I can write this equal to half multiplied by AB square right and then if I add the area of this triangle also that will become the area of the quadrilateral so area of this triangle will be equal to half DC multiplied by BC so the total area of the quadrilateral ABCD will be AB square divided by 2 plus DC multiplied by BC divided by 2 and this triangle A ABD is a right angle triangle so here BD square can be written as AB square plus AD square and since AB and AD both are equal this can be written as 2 times AB square or you can say AB square can be written as BD square divided by 2 so this can be written as BD square divided by 4 plus DC multiplied by BC divided by 2 and at the same time triangle BCD is also a right angle triangle and from here BD square can be written as BC square plus CD square and if I substitute this over here this becomes BC square plus CD square divided by 4 plus DC multiplied by BC divided by 2 and this total area was actually equal to 24 and here this can be written as BC square plus CD square plus 2 times DC multiplied by BC divided by 4 is equal to 24 or you can say BC plus CD whole square is equal to 24 multiplied by 4 or you can say BC plus CD is equal to 4 root 6 right so we have found BC plus CD is equal to 4 root 6 and again the area of this quadrilateral can be written as the sum of areas of this triangle and area of this trapezium so the area of that triangle can be written as, as half BE multiplied by AE and the area of trapezium AECD can be written as half the sum of parallel side that is CD plus AE multiplied by the height and height over here is EC and if I add both of them I can take half common and AE is equal to EC so I can take AE also common and inside the bracket I'll have BE from here plus 
CD plus AE and if I write this AE first it won't change anything and then plus CD and this is also equal to 24. So half AE multiplied by BE plus AE. BE plus AE can be written as BC because AE is equal to EC and BE plus EC is equal to BC. So this can be written as BC plus CD is equal to 24. So AE can be written as 24 multiplied by 2 divided by BC plus CD and BC plus CD is 4 root 6. So 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So this is 12 divided by root 6 or if you multiply it by root 6 divided by root 6, this root 6 multiplied by root 6 will give you a 6, 6 twos are 12. So this will be equal to 2 root 6. So the length AE is equal to 2 times square root of 6. So that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till